Laura. Hi, Rufa. I'm so happy to be joining you. How was it last year? Were you nervous? Last year, I was, I was nervous. I was scared. But I think what helped me was just pretending that no one was there. And it was just us talking. I was actually a judge, and oh. I was cheering for you oh, last year. Oh, well, that's nice to know. So I hope the girls stay calm and just remember to have fun. So the question and answer portion in any beauty pageant gives an opportunity for our candidates to express themselves and make their voices be heard. For our Q&A, the girls will just have to pick one question and you will be given 30 seconds to answer. Your time is up. Sound. All right, let's start the question and answer portion with our very first finalist. We Candidate have number 32. Okay, pick a question. How are you feeling? Do you want to take a deep breath? You can do this. You're only 16, right? Yes, I'm 16. Oh, it reminds me of my daughter. Okay. Question is, a decreasing number of students go to the library nor refer to books as a source of information because of the convenience of internet research. Do you think books are a dying form of reference or would you still encourage reading amongst the youth? I firmly believe that books is still a reference for us to learn something. But at the same time, technology on the other hand is, makes our life more easier. But for me, if you really love reading books, you can learn a lot of things through it. And of course, the authors of a book makes a lot of strong, has a lot of things that they have been encountered for them to make the book. Well, on the other hand, while you read electronic books, you can still copy and paste it no matter what. So there's a big difference between it. All Thank right. You. Thank you very much, candidate number 32. I love reading books. We didn't have the internet back then, Laura. I I so all I did it. was read books. Next up, of course, we have candidate number 35. Candidate number 35, please select your question. The current Ultra Lotto jackpot has reached its highest. If you win the lottery, how do you plan to use your winnings? I think this is the perfect question for this specific occasion, especially because it's a beauty pageant. We are all women standing here on behalf of a specific cause and charity. And so for me, I'm raising awareness on the substance abuse and drug abuse. So my proceeds from my earnings would go towards that. And educating the youth here in the Philippines is where I want to start. Thank you. I love that. Good job. Okay, yeah. Beauty with a purpose. Congratulations, Thank you candidate so number much. 35. All right, we have our next candidate. They're candidate doing, number five. You're doing such a good job. Yes, Kim de Guzman, right? Okay, choose Kim, your question. Do you want to choose your question? question? All right, candidate number five. If you could address one message to the world, what would it be? If I could address one message to the world, is that we should not be too hard for ourselves. We should accept who we are and embrace who we are and face the world with beauty and dedication and being strong. Thank you very much. Great answer. Congratulations, candidate number five. Being who you are is exactly what Miss World is all about. Yes, all right, next. Next up, we have candidate number 27. Candidate Katarina. number 27, you may pick your question. All right. Some feminists believe that beauty pageants are a form of women exploitation. What can you do to change their opinion? I like to think that one should live by example and not by opinion, and I actually 
would like to admit I was one of those feminists before until I learned more about what beauty pageants are about. One thing I can tell you is that you may think it is very competitive, but in fact, you understand beauty pageants when you know that it is actually not competitive towards the other women. It's competitive towards yourself. And instead, it's all about women empowerment. And you can feel that in this group of girls. I've been with them for two months, and each girl knows that each girl knows that we are all individually beautiful. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Katarina. Thank you very much, Candidate 27. The candidates tonight are all so intelligent. I'm loving all their answers. Exactly, and I loved how they talked about they're all friends with each other. You know, exactly. it's not much of a competition. All right, let's move on to candidate number 34. Pick a question, please. Okay, your question is, the rise of virtual currencies or cryptocurrency has revolutionized financial services here in the Philippines and all over the world. What is your opinion on this? I believe that the Philippines is very open to this kind of idea. However, I think we should improve that our technology first enable for the Filipinos to use it properly and use it in the future. We Filipinos are very uh, appreciative and engaging into this kind of uh, new knowledge that are entering the, uh, the, this generation. And I think that we should always have an open mind in this new technologies. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, candidate. I'd have to agree. It's always nice having an open mind. You know what? They look so beautiful up close. They do. All, so, of one, all of them are just so unique and so beautiful. So we're done with five, ladies and gentlemen. We have five more to go. So why don't we call upon candidate number 33. <laughs> candidate number 33, I'm loving the color of your gown. It's very Miss World, that royal blue. Yes. Okay. So for your question, we have, inclusivity has become a growing movement these days. In Philippine society, who do you feel are discriminated against and how would you help them in their plight? I think that when it comes to discrimination, it's not just about race. In the Philippines, one very important social issue that we're facing now is the discrimination against women in the workplace. A very important issue that we're facing now is the gender pay gap. I think that personally, your gender should not determine how much you get paid or how much salary you get. I think that feminism actually is not about just equality. It's about the eradication of the gender notion that women should only do certain things or that men should behave a certain way. So that's what I would like to change. Oh, wow. wow. In fairness, candidate number 33. All right. I love oh, that. Do you know that candidate number 33 is actually my goddaughter? Oh my goodness. Can you imagine, right? I love how they're using this platform, you know, to share their views, express their opinion on women empowerment. Exactly. All right. So up next, we have candidate number 23. Come on down. Choose your question. There you go. All right. Metro Manila is facing a huge environmental issue in terms of waste collection and aside from eliminating the use of plastics, do you have any suggestions with how to address this concern? I think we should reach out to business owners because a lot of our, a lot of the products we consume already comes in packaging, but if they provide an option to for consumers to provide their own packaging or for own con their own containers, then we could minimize the waste in our planet. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, candidate number 23. I feel like we should be standing in front of government right now because these girls have such good ideas. Okay, so yeah. Next, we have candidate number 16. Candidate number 16 looking so regal tonight. I love your earrings. Do you want to hand the question to Ms. Rufa? Thank you so much. Filipino resilience is defined how we manage to smile in the direst of circumstances, like in facing typhoons or tragedies. Do you think the Filipino spirit is just about smiling despite the hardships we encounter? 
I think that Filipinos are so unique and they have so many values that I'm very proud of. I think that we are so not only resilient, but we're very hardworking. I think no matter where you go, no matter where in the world you go, you'll see that Filipinos are some of the top leaders. They are so intelligent, they're so kind. They bring that Filipino spirit with them wherever they go. And I think we should all be very, very proud to be Filipinos. Thank you. Great. Congratulations, candidate so number 16. That's okay. true. When you meet Filipinos all over the world, they're always happy and very hardworking for their family. No matter what we go through, we are always smiling. All right, now we have crowd favorite, number 11. So we're down to two guys. Hi. I love your gown. Pick a question, please. Your question is, who for you is the modern Filipino hero and why? My modern Filipino hero for me is each and every one of us. Because there's a hero that lives inside of us. No matter what other people are saying to you, it's you and you alone who gets and who says the final decision of your life. And I can say that no one can save you, but only you. So you, all of you here, are the modern Filipinos. Thank you very much, Thank candidate you. number 11. Thank you for calling us all so heroes. Relaxed. Yeah. Thank you so much. She sounded so relaxed when she answered her question. Now we have candidate number 39. Come on down. Our last candidate for the night. You're in luck. Would you Take like to question. select your question? Okay. okay. <laughs> all right. Your question is, Women and young girls have always been the target of body shaming on social media. How can you be a spokesperson against this trend with your figure and beauty? I just want to say that I'm here in this competition. I know that other people have expectations of what beauty queen is, but I can say that all the other girls, you're all beautiful. If you know that you're strong and powerful and you have your family support and you know what you want in your life, then no body shaming or whatsoever discrimination can bring you down. Me, myself, I've undergone a lot of troubles, a lot of bullying, but I managed to stand here in front of all of you and be a candidate of Miss World Philippines 2018. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number 39. Very inspiring. Thank Very you. inspiring. She I kind of had tears in her eyes yeah. when she was saying that. It was right? close to her heart, you could tell. Exactly. So Philippines, you have heard your top 10. And in a few moments, we will be crowning a new set of Miss World Philippines queens. Our judges will now be carefully deciding who deserves to wear that crown. The announcement of winners when we return. I am a boxer and senator of Republic of the Philippines in a family man. People may not know me as a businessman, but I invest in good business opportunities.